Hello dear students, today we are going to continue our lesson for the fourth quarter, week two, which is on the collection of data. This is Mary Jane C. Palara, your math teacher. Before we discuss our next lesson, let us review your previous lesson. I will be showing you 10 questions and you are going to identify if they are statistical or not. If the question is statistical, you simply type S, but if it is not statistical, you type NS. Are you ready? Here are the questions. Question number one, what is your favorite subject? Question number two, what is your math teacher's name? Three, how many students in your school select the following? Modular distance learning, blended learning, or online learning? Question number four. What teaching style of your math teacher is more effective? Question number five. Do you like Mango Graham? Number six. How many Filipinos are infected by the pandemic according to province? Question number seven. What is your father's name? Eight, what is the most used connectivity of your classmates? Wi-Fi connection or mobile data? Question number nine, what is the brand of your cell phone? And question number 10, what is your favorite pizza toppings? I'll give you five more seconds to finalize your answers. And let us check. For question number one, it is not a statistical question because it has an exact answer. Number two is also a not statistical question. Number three, it is a statistical question because you have to conduct an interview or other ways of collecting data to answer the question. Number four is also a statistical question. Number five, not a statistical question. Number six is a statistical question. Number seven is not a statistical question. Number eight is a statistical question. Number nine, not a statistical question. And the last one is also not a statistical question. How many did you get? If you got most of them, then very good. But if not, please review our previous lesson by watching our first video for the first quarter. Now let us begin with our lesson by defining what is data or data. A data is a collection of facts such as numbers, words, measurements, observations, or just descriptions of things. Now there are two types of data. The first one is the numerical data. This has or every value of a numerical data is a set of numbers or is a number. For example, age, when we refer about, when we talk about age, so it is, uh, it talks about numbers. So we have 14, 12, your ages may range from those numbers. Okay, so it is a number. For letter B, height is also a numerical data because heights can be written as 5 feet, 6 feet, 7 feet, 8 feet and so on. Another example is weight. So you may say that your weight is 59 kilograms, 70 kilograms, or 48 kilograms, and so on. The last example is general average. So if I ask you what is your general average for the fourth quarter or for the third quarter, 
So your answer could be 88, 89, 95, 92, or 86, or any number, or any constant number. The other type of data is the categorical data. So this data set is a non-numerical or is non-numerical in value. For example, we have colors. So what are our colors? We have red, green, blue, and black. So we cannot identify colors based on numbers. Another one is labels. So it can be small, medium, large, extra large, and so on. Another example is cell phone brand. It can be iPhone, Samsung, Huawei, Oppo, or Vivo. And the last one is gender. It can be male or female. So those are the two types of data. This time, let us look into some of the techniques that we can use to gather statistical data. We are going to discuss five. The first one is the interview method. The interview is a person-to-person -person encounter between person gathering data, who is called the interviewer, and the person supplying the data, who is called the interviewee. So there are two types of an interview method. We have the personal interview, which is a face-to-face -face question and answer method. Another one is the telephone interview. So it can, um, this question and answer method uses mobile phones or telephone. Okay, so you can see the difference between the two. If it says they're personal, you have to be, uh, together with the person you are interviewing, you are in one place. But if it is a telephone interview, you can use any media to gather the information from, your, from the person you are interviewing. So those are the two types of interview method. The second one, or before that, we had to take note that one of the major advantages of the interview method is that questions can be repeated, rephrased, or modified for better understanding. So it is not fixed for your um, interviewee to understand the question. You can rephrase the question so that they can supply a better answer. Now let's continue. The second technique that we can use to collect statistical data is the questionnaire method. Written questions utilized to obtain information, either mailed or hand carried to the respondents. In this method, respondents feel time to formulate appropriate answers, unlike in interview method wherein the respondents feel pressured for the on-the-spot answers. So, for example, the, the students are asked to answer the evaluation form to rate their teachers in different criteria. So, that is an example of questionnaire method. The third one is the observation method. The data are gathered either individually or collectively by direct observations. Again, by direct observations. The person who gathers the data is called the investigator, while the person being observed is called the subject. This method is used by psychologists, sociologists, and psychiatrists. So, for example, in the time of COVID-19 pandemic, researchers obtain data by observing behaviors of patients. From their observations, they can obtain data. For number four, we can also use documents to search or to gather statistical data. The researchers make use of existing records or documents available in both private and government offices. 
So for example, in school, we can gather information from the guidance counselors who keeps anecdotal records. Another one for history, we can um, base our data on historical data. And for the population, we can ask for the record of birth rates from the municipal offices or other sources. So those are some examples or some ways of collecting data by using documents. So that is number four. The fifth one is the method of experimentation. Data needed to answer questions or queries may be obtained through a series of experiments. Scientific researchers like physicists and chemists usually make use of this method. So for example, we have here a researcher who is conducting an experiment because he wants to try different fertilizers or he wants to check which fertilizer can uh, help to produce more rice. So those are just some of the statistical ways or methods for us to collect data. Again, let us have a recap of what we have discussed in this lesson. A data is a collection of facts such as numbers, words, measurements, observations, or just descriptions of things. Another thing that we have learned is the two types of data the numerical data and categorical data. Now there are also five ways in which we can collect data. The first one is through interview method, through questionnaire method, observation method, through the use of documents, or through the method of experimentation. Thank you so much for listening to our discussion for today. So following or our next lesson is on organizing data using frequency distribution table. Once again, this is Mary Jane Cipalara, your math teacher. Bye.